Exchange in culture, information technology, industry, trade and education lies at the core of forging strong international relations. With the world shrinking into a small village due to globalization, ambassadors and country representatives play a pivotal role in keeping nations abreast with world politics, business, knowledge sharing and building. The Republic of Korea and Zimbabwe share a symbolic comradeship and strategic alliance that dates back to the early 90s. Welcome to this special program focusing on Zimbabwe-Korea relations. I say he's proposing and we wait for the next scene. So as uh, the Republic of Korea and Zimbabwe share cordial and practical cooperation in diverse areas. Korea's 10th ambassador to Zimbabwe, His Excellency Du Pong Kei, is influencing continued relations between the two countries through dialogue and implementing projects. The Republic of Korea and the Republic of Zimbabwe established the diplomatic relations in 1994 and my embassy opened in Harare in 1995. Despite comparatively uh, short ties and geographically long distance, our two countries have cordial relations, cordial and uh, practical cooperation in diverse areas, including political and diplomatic cooperation, economic cooperation, and development cooperation. Where are our current relations? I want to note the vigorous human exchanges between our two countries. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, around 20 to 30,000 Korean tourists annually had visited Zimbabwe. And every year, around 10 Zimbabwean students are selected for the Koika Master's Degree Scholarship Program as part of government-to-government -government cooperation. Koika is the uh, Korea's development cooperation agency. The CAS uh, it is also called as Koika Alumni Association in Zimbabwe, has expanded over 300 members since its establishment in 2014. Has there been mutual beneficiation for our two countries? My assessment? It is a good question. Instead of my own assessment, I would like to quote the assessment by Honorable Monica Mafunga, State Minister for the Marshall and Central Province, Korea's Semal Undong Program. It is the Korean brand of uh, rural, development co uh, rural de development movement, complements the Zimbabwean government policies aimed at achieving an empowered and prosperous upper-middle-income society by 2030 through empowering women and the youth. Honorable Senator Mafunga said the birth of the cooperation between Marshall and Central and Gyeongsangnam-do province of Korea has seen tremendous support through the establishment of community projects which have transformed the lives of our people. Since 2015, Gyeongsangnam-do province of Korea has played a critical role in sharing Korea's development cooperation uh, experience with the Marshallan and Central province. In May 2016, the Semal Undong Center was officially commissioned in the village of Ushongani, Bindura district. Semal Undong movement has empowered the rural village people with the spirit of diligence, 
commitment and self-help. The Korean local government has also supported refurbishment of provincial clinics in Chiveso, Bindura, Glen Morgan, Vonavo, Chinyani, Mutli until now, and this year in Nambire, Mount Darwin. I think this Kubatana partnership project represents the friendship between Korean and the Zimbabwean people. It was very impressive for me to hear from a woman in Bindura. The Piguri project supported by Korea has transformed lives and empowered us women as we are now meaningfully contributing to the welfare of our families. As you know, in some rural areas, women are being sidelined and left out in development projects. But she was telling that the project is all inclusive. The Korean government has prioritized agricultural cooperation with Zimbabwe to restore its title as breadbasket of Africa. In the past decade, research projects have been conducted on the job training and workshops and the technical experts have been seconded at focusing on the agricultural issues. To further strengthen cooperation in the agricultural sector, in 2016, the Korean and the Zimbabwean government jointly established the COPIA, uh, called as Korea Program for International Cooperation in Agricultural Technology in Zimbabwe to implement numerous projects, including providing technology for the production of food and agricultural products. COPIA's pilot projects have been undertaken with farmers in the Marshallland East and the Marshallland Central, and the results have been interesting. In the education sector, the Korean government provided 8 million US dollars for the ICT tra Transforming Education in Korea project to support the development of ICT education in three African countries, namely Mozambique, Rwanda, and Zimbabwe. Thank you.